Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk to you about pea and bean booster or inoculating your soil with uh, rhizobium bacteria. You may have heard a lot about it and I just want to explain what it is, talk to you about whether or not you need it. When you plant beans or you plant peas, they have the ability to actually fix nitrogen from the atmosphere. And what that means is, well, first of all, there's 78% of, of our atmosphere is made up of nitrogen gas. And it's in a gas form, and plants can't use nitrogen in gas form. So the rhizobium bacteria works with the root systems of the peas and the beans, and it helps them grow stronger roots and actually create more nodes along the roots. And it's these nodes along the roots that fix the nitrogen gas and turn it into a usable form. So when you grow peas, when you grow beans, you don't really actually need nitrogen in your soil as long as you have this bacteria and you have a healthy plant. And the plant will take care of pulling the, the nitrogen out of the atmosphere and the nodes along the roots will use that nitrogen. Now after the plant is grown, those nodes still contain nitrogen. So when you turn that into your garden, that becomes sort of a green manure that'll break down. The nitrogen will be used up by other plants that you plant there. So the bacteria itself, and I want to be clear about this, the bacteria itself, the rhizobium bacteria, doesn't cause nitrogen in the air to, be, to turn into a form that plants can use it. So you can't just go and spread this everywhere and any plant that's planted on it is going to be able to use the nitrogen. It really only works with peas and beans and that's, why you have, that's what you have to look for. Now, do you have to use it? And that's the question that's really up to you. If you've been growing beans and you've been growing peas in your garden and they're producing good sized plants, you're getting good sized yields, you probably don't need the bean booster. And the reason for that is the rhizobium bacteria, there's three different kinds in there and they say this is good for lima beans, peanuts, dry beans, peas, and lentils, is that it's already in your soil. So if you have healthy soil, you probably already have this bacteria in there. Now that doesn't mean that if you use this with your plantings that you won't get bigger plants and a higher yield. I've not used it before but it has come down in price. This was only $2.49 for the uh, rhizomium bacteria and I'm figuring well why not uh, give it a try. And I want to use it where I don't have the bacteria and that's with my container gardens. When I make up my soil for my container gardens it's usually made out of predominantly peat moss um, some soil from my garden beds and then some other products I put in here and I usually look for actually to be honest with you what's on sale. So I make a uh, container soil mix that may not have the bacteria in there that best helps the beans and peas to grow. And I want to be clear on another point that just because you don't have this bacteria doesn't mean that these beans and peas won't grow, you could be putting your nitrogen into the soil. They can still use that too. But this works in combination with the root systems of these plants to give you bigger and stronger yields. So I'm going to actually use this in my containers because I really believe that adding the bacteria will help my peas grow larger, help my beans grow larger, and I'm going to get, you know, a greater yield. Now how do you use this? It's pretty straightforward on here is that if you were going to plant your beans, you know, in the ground, just like that, you would just take some of, and this is what it looks like, and this is in dry form, there's bacteria in here, and when it gets to right temperature, which is about 50 degrees to 90 degrees, with some water, with the nutrients in the soil, the bacteria is going to grow, it's going to thrive. And just a side note, is bacteria, you don't need a lot. If only a couple bacteria survive or, you know, come out of this, it will multiply quickly into the millions. So you don't have to overdo it is my point. So it says to plant uh, your beans however you would plant and plant your peas however you would do it and just kind of spread it along the line. I don't really think you have to do that. You can just drop it right around there. That's one way to do it. If the bacteria, bacteria takes off, it's going to grow in the soil and it's going to reach your beans. You don't have to overdo this and spend a lot of money on it. The other tip I want to give you is I always recommend you soak your beans or your pea seeds um, in warm water for about an hour or two. Sometimes people say to go ahead and do it for um, a couple of hours. What I find though is if you soak the beans and the peas too long, they get fragile and you can actually, you know, break them a little bit. So what I would do is just mix some warm water in there, not too hot, 
you know, a couple of pinches, maybe a little bit more of the bean booster. And let that just kind of mix in there and sit for about an hour or two. And that's going to, one, let your seeds swell and they're going to germinate quicker. And two, it's going to get some of the bacteria and stuff around the beans. And then when you plant these, go ahead and just drop the beans or the peas into the planting hole and just pour some of this water right onto it. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you know a little bit more about what it means to inoculate your soil. And what, that, what you're doing is, is you're taking rhizobium bacteria, you're planting your beans, you're planting your peas, and you're going to put this bacteria around it with the idea that it's going to help the plant be better able to fix nitrogen gas from the atmosphere and turn it into something usable. And the rhizobium bacteria stimulates the no growth along the root systems of beans and peas. So again, you can't just put this in your garden. It is not a fertilizer. It's not going to work with every vegetable. It's only going to work with beans and peas and it stimulates the node growth along the root systems of the plant. And that will, in theory, have your plant grow bigger, stronger, and you'll get greater yields. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about what Bean Booster is and how it can help you in your garden. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.